The emergence of humanoid robots represents a thrilling era in robotics, unlocking limitless potential. This field is progressing rapidly, edging us nearer to crafting intelligent machines that can engage with the environment and humans more profoundly. Humanoid robots hold promise as indispensable aids across various aspects of our lives. Developed nations like the USA, Japan, Korea, China, and more have commenced large-scale production of humanoid robots. Every country is striving to take the lead in humanoid robot production. According to their plans, most nations are scheduled to achieve mass production of ultra-realistic humanoid machines by 2025. In this video, we'll delve into the creation process of the world's most realistic humanoid robots, exploring their capabilities. We begin with China, where robots are meticulously designed to replicate humans, even down to intricate details like veins and goosebumps on the skin. China has consistently been at the forefront of technological advancements, from artificial intelligence to virtual reality and robotics. In China, the future seems to arrive already. Let's take a journey to Dalian City in Liaoning Province where robots are so lifelike they are almost indistinguishable from humans. Recently, the EX Future and Science Museum opened there showcasing exhibits created by the EX Robots Company. However, this is not your typical museum. It's essentially a factory that houses research and development facilities, production lines, and assembly units for bionic robots. These robots have the ability to create highly realistic and incredibly accurate replicas of any museum visitor. EX Robots, a Chinese company founded in 2009, specializes in the research and development of humanoid robots. Their journey into humanoid robotics began in 2016, leading to the recent opening of China's first robot museum. The company's team comprises 115 individuals with around 30 developers. EX Robots focuses on various aspects including research, development, productions, sales, and maintenance of intellectual bionic humanoid robots. Their capabilities span a wide range from crafting celebrity robots to cute, carton-like promoter robots and even pole dancing robots used to attract patrons to bars and clubs. These robots find application across industries from service sectors and trade shows to scientific and entertainment events. However, their primary usage lies in business settings. Looking ahead, EX Robots plans to concentrate on customer-centric applications, especially in early childhood education and child care. Each robot is meticulously designed to appear as realistic as possible. The replication process involves scanning a person using a high-precision 3D scanner focusing on the head and hands. While robots currently have a universal body, differing only by gender, with gynoids having slimmer bodies, specific attention is paid to details like hands, faces, and any exposed body parts, including legs, to enhance realism. The Creo camera showcased in the museum display an incredible level of accuracy and detail, capturing vein patterns, lines on palms, and even goosebumps on the skin with astonishing realism. These features are replicated using medical-grade silicon and a 3D printer, achieving a level of realism that can be quite startling. The creators are also focused on making the experience of touching the robot feel akin to touching a human. The process of creating humanoid robot is quite intricate and time-consuming, taking anywhere from 3 to 6 months to complete. Numerous operations are involved, starting with developing a human-like voice. Subsequent steps include 3D printing, scanning, manufacturing mechanical components, and applying bionic coatings to enhance the robot's lifelike appearance and functionality. The last step involves using a control system to adjust the robot's movements. The hardest part of making a humanoid robot is definitely designing its mechanical structure. This is particularly challenging compared to many industrial robots, especially since the company's equipment is quite compact, especially for gynoids. Once the body shape data is obtained, the internal structure is designed to fit that shape. This process of fitting numerous small equipment parts into a tight space is quite difficult. Additionally, achieving natural and fluid movement similar to human motion is crucial. Robots can now be controlled by users through apps, allowing them to change the robot's facial expressions or use gloves to gesture with their hands. These robots not only like humans externally but also features video tracking, meaning they can focus on and interact with people standing in front of them. 
They can express emotions like joy or sadness, stick out their tongues, or make sad eyes. Essentially, the goal of these robots is to be as human-like as possible. Their silicon skin is nearly identical to ours and they can fulfill various roles in society such as in medicine, the service industry, and education. The video on the EX Robots channel showcases humanoid robots mimicking and replicating the gestures of communicating girls, which has garnered significant attention and popularity. EX Robots says that they can currently manufacture two thousands of these human-like robots every year. This development highlights the growing trend towards the coexistence of humans and robots, which many see as the inevitable future we should work towards. Robots are becoming increasingly capable of performing tasks at a human level and they are expected to be integrated into all sectors and aspects of life. It's envisioned that robots will eventually become ubiquitous, playing essential roles in various domains of society. The company has introduced a hardware platform to enhance the intelligence of robots, aiming to attract more individuals, especially from the business sector, to join them in fully integrating robots into our daily lives. Would you prefer visiting such a museum or creating your own robot replica? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Shifting our focus to South Korea, the mass production of humanoid robots has generated significant interest online. AM Service Glock, a Korean company, launched a conveyor features lifelike humanoids. These robots are intended for an animatronic display of the local designer glasses brand, Gentle Monster, where they will simulate a robotic assembly line. All components of the robots were 3D printed using SLA wide format technology, ensuring highly realistic surface finishing. Additionally, a urethane coating was applied to enhance the durability of the photopolymer parts. The company meticulously applied a high-resolution texture to replicate even the skin pores on each humanoid's face, requiring extensive post-processing to achieve a lifelike skin color. The process of creating humanoid robots with a 3D printer involved several stages. Initially, engineers designed 3D models of the robot using computer-aided design or CAD software, specifying materials, functionalities, and capabilities. The next step is preparing the 3D printer, including calibration and material setup for proper operation. Once ready, the printer begins the printing process, creating body parts and components from materials like plastics, metals, or composites. After printing, the assembly phase begins, involving attached limbs, installing motors and sensors, and wiring or soldering as needed to create a functional mechanism. After assembly, a series of tests are conducted to ensure the robot functions correctly and meets the required specifications. If necessary, the design can be modified and the robot can be reprinted and reassembled until a satisfactory result is achieved. Despite their ultra-realistic appearance, these robots are currently only part objects and non-functional. However, they have earned a special place in drawing attention to robotics. In the comments, share what you like most after watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Also, check out our previous videos. See you next time.